we have always tried to engage our pupils to the best of their ability. And I think our ethos has been the same for our school. But what's, what's quite nice is now you haven't got to cover things that are yeah. subject driven for pupils that are only, you know, P4, P5, who really need, what they really need, which we've got a license to do now, is we can just focus on those skills without having to tick a box. The long-term map is being looked at and it's not so uh, specific. I've got the freedom now to yeah. um, spend a bit more time on what they're interested in and that's really exciting. Yeah. As being a special school, our curriculum's always had to be person-centred, but if you've got children who are able to discuss things with you, they can identify that they want to do certain subjects for example, they might like want to do gardening or work in the cafe, but lower down the school, for non-verbal pupils, the pupil voice is identifying that some pupils really like being outside and, and you know, doing forest schoolsy type things. For other pupils, they really, we know we've got to do the pupil voice for them, so we know they wouldn't want to do that, that's, but they'd enjoy music or something instead. That's where the engagement profile comes in yeah. then, especially for your PMLD pupils, um, you, you know, where they don't necessarily have a voice where they can say, I like this, but through watching their engagement, you can create a profile on them that shows them at their best, so you can um, cater um, activities for them. You know, even though they can't vocalise it, they can, you know, they can show you just by looking interested and um, attempting to do things they wouldn't otherwise. Yeah. It's, it's about working together within your AOLE. Mm -hmm. Talking about as you're doing, the, we all plan together as much as possible and obviously you adapt it for the best needs of the, of the children involved. But you would talk about what, what's going to hook your children in, what, you know, what subject wise are the children going to be engaged with. Yeah. Um, uh, in order to then deliver those skills that we find that we know are important. And working within an AOLE group, you know, as a music subject leader, I felt sometimes quite isolated. And now I've got other people that I can just bounce ideas off. You know, it's really useful planning together because you can come up with ideas that you might not have thought mm. of for your particular group from people with other specialisms in terms of, um, you know, the ASD-ness or um, subject specialisms. You might have someone with an ICT specialism that might suggest a way you could bring some ICT into that thing, for example, using an app and taking a photo of it. So it's really doing, doing simpler things really well. And it's really good for our professional development as well to mm -hmm. work together as teachers with people who might have more experience or less experience discussing things and developing our planning in that way. The ideas are constantly evolving. So, you know, things are just getting better and better and it's, it's better to suit the different needs of the pupils or because there's different provision available and how you spend the budget could be affected by that. And, you know, things just continually um, improve really.